I look hella crazy, but it's okay. Miss M U A. Hello. It's Kim Kardashian West, like Bible. <laughs> you special and she reckless. Remember, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she my bestie. What's up, y'all? Thank you for stepping into Diana's room, okay? If this is your first time here, my name is Nikke, or you can call me Diana. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something I've never done on this channel before, and that is recreating another person's look. I'm going to be recreating Kim Kardashian's makeup look for her um, KKW Funny Mac palette coming out soon. Um, I just really love the makeup, and I love the makeup artist. His name is Raul Alejandre. Alejandre, I don't know how to pronounce it. I hate pronouncing people's names wrong. So I'm just going to put his name down here. Like I oftentimes get lost on this page because it does like dope graphic makeup. Like they just look so good and <laughs> he's so creative. So when I saw that he did King's makeup for um for her KKW campaign, I was like I'm going to try this. It's a challenge, but I really, really am up for it because the look was just so bomb. And we're going to try that today, okay? So you guys pray for me. I hope it comes out nice and somewhat close. I know it's not going to look like his work, but just somewhat close to his work. Like, I, I just... Okay, so guys, let's just go straight into this video and um, pray for me. I'm going to be starting with my face. I don't really know if I want to show my face routine on camera because I think I want to do a separate video of my new highlight contour foundation routine. So I don't know if I really want to show it right now, but let's just see how it goes. To start, I'm going to be color correcting my my face because like I'm going through, my skin is really going through a rough patch. So I'm going to start with this MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palette, dark palette. I'm going to be using this orange shade to color correct and cover my spots because my face is really spotty at the moment. to me to do my eyebrows now or regret it later so i'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera so i've done my eyebrows off camera now i'm going to go ahead and do my foundation routine highlight contour and all that but i don't think i'm going to talk through them Now foundation is done, so we're going to move on to highlights and contour, my favorite parts.
basically done the whole face. I think I just have my blush and highlighter left to do, but I felt like I should stop there and get to this eye makeup before before this video just gets so long and I think I'm just spoiling this eye to be honest. I'm trying to get myself prepared. So let's go straight into the eye look and yeah, we'll just keep going from there. So obviously I don't have a KKW palette because it's not out yet. So I'm just going to work with what I have and just try to do this look as close as possible. So I'm going to use my organic palette. You guys already know the drill. I'm going to be using extra color all over my crease. Well, not my crease, my whole eye look. They kind of did this pink. I don't know if you guys can see this pink thing along her face with like a bright pink shade. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Then in this closer one, you can kind of see it when we use it for transition. So I'm going to be using this dusty rose-ish color along my transition line. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the lid. She had this bright thing going on in the middle. It was kind of white, but I don't know if it's going to be white. But I'll try and use white. I'm just going to use the white in my powder palette right there on my eyelid, right here in the middle part. I don't want to believe I'm the only one that uses the powders as eyeshadow. I mean, it's there, you might as well use it. That's my makeup. You can do the job, why not? So it looks like she kind of has like a little bit of orange right where the um, eyeshadow started getting moved out. So like, I'm going to use some orange and then scoop it out with a little brown and then start working my way into the wing. I'm going to be using this shade. I hope it turns out deeper in the eye. Okay, I think I'll just manage that. We're going to move in with this dark, this dark wine shade, but just a little bit. I don't want it to be too pronounced. Okay, so I think that has kind of done something. So I'm going to go in with this. Oops, I'm going to go in with this brown shade. Kind of using that brown a little bit as a transition before I wing out the parts I want to wing out. I'm using my um, eyebrow concealer brush to clean out this part to make it a lot sharper and pointy. I use a very tiny brush in this very dark powder and powder palette to um, smoke out the wing and I feel like I can kind of leave it where it is right now so we can just leave it here. I <laughs> just finished this side and then we move. I'm basically done with the outer part now we're going to move into the inner corners which is the part that scared me the most. <laughs> that thing. I don't know how we did it, but let's try. Let's we'll be using this powder palette again. <laughs> Kind of smoked it to the top. So you can feel the light will blend it into the transition and. I'm going to add this dark brown over it 
because this um, wine is brighter than I expected it to be. And that's all right, so let's just darken it up. Okay guys, I think your girl did pretty good, like pretty, pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to move into the bottom of this eye with this brown shade. I would have used the wine, but it's looking too bright. So um, let's just use the brown. Okay, so I think this is pretty much the direction. I'm going to use some concealer in this middle color. So I've kind of done the line. Um, I don't know, I'm not too happy about how it looks. I think it's a little bit longer than hers. But, I mean, a recreation doesn't mean it has to be exactly the same thing. I tried and I just get to go and finish up this side and then fix my lashes off camera and then come back, finish my whole face and then just end this makeup, okay? I'm feeling pretty good, but I feel like certain things could have been done better. I feel like this eye is going to burn down. That always happens to me. The first eye I show on camera is never as good as the one I do off camera. I don't know why that is. Let's finish and let's see before I speak too soon. Okay, so guys, I've done the eye and the lashes and everything off camera. And like I said, this eye bangs more than this eye, but it's okay. I think I did pretty, pretty good for a non-pro MUA. Let me know what you guys think. I've um, finished my face. I didn't do too much with the bronzer because her face was quite calm, but the eye was what we were talking. So I've kind of um, I've kind of adapted that as well. And if you guys don't mind my lashes, I don't know what's wrong with this batch I got. This one is pre-curled, this one is straight. I lost my curler, so I can't curl this one and it's just driving me insane and I kinda have to work with what I have. But anyway, this is it. Let's do the lip classic in production groups. I'm going to be using my brow, brown brow pencil. So I'm going to go with this classic new lip stain. I'm going to um, brighten this look up a bit with my classic new girl. Yeah, I think this is pretty fine. Because our lips were matte, I'm going to leave it as much. You guys know I love my glossy lips, so I'm just going to manage and leave this one matte to stay true to stay true to the look that we're trying to copy. So let me just put myself together and see if. I'll fall in love with this way more. Okay, so I finally put myself together and also kind of have the middle part vibe she had in her picture. But I just don't have the headgear and I wasn't going to do all of that. My big hair is enough. I just feel like I should change identity right now. Like, sorry, Nikki can't come to the phone. Hello, it's Kim Kardashian West, like Bible. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just excited. Like. Obviously, it's not exactly as it did, but the look is fierce, it's nice. And all in all, I think I did my best with what I had, and it came out pretty bomb. Like, what do you guys think? Sound off in the comments and let me know if it's a yay or a nay. For me, I'll give myself a high five because I really tried. I'm not a pro makeup artist or anything, and I did this. Come on, like, so you say, okay? That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me recreate this Kim Kardashian look my room is a crime scene right now like my dresser is crazy my makeup is all over the place I'm trying to get this as perfect as i could and this is the end result i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please 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 subscribe to my channel like my video share it to anyone you think might enjoy it thank you so much for watching until next time let's get it together Peace.